To understand how to use outranking and create SEO content fast, let's go over the core features of the platform. The top header bar can be used to enlarge the screen, go back to the dashboard, save the content, create a new document, check versioning history, undo and redo content in the editor, export and import content, content brief automation. Next, we will look at the pop-up utility in the editor area. Editor controls can be seen or are visible on the selection of some text. In this pop-up, you will find controls to change the styling and tags of your content, as well as AI utilities to shorten, expand, rewrite, and command. You can perform these actions in all 13 languages outranking supports. Now let's look at the side panel of outranking where all the magic happens. The rightmost area is the navigation panel. SEO score overview tab covers the basic statistics of 20 competing web pages. The second is AI write, which consists of AI or GPT-3 controls to let artificial intelligence write for you. The third is instructions. This tab consists of step-by-step -step SEO content creation and optimization instructions. Open each box and read the notes carefully and follow the instructions. As you start fulfilling the step requirements, you will see some keywords boxes become green and step boxes getting a green check. The fourth tab covers titles from the top 20 ranking pages and the highest frequency words. Similarly, the fifth tab covers meta description and the sixth consists of heading from SERP. Next tab is sections or what most of you call outlines. This tab consists of some powerful outline building tools and H tag data from the top 20 ranking pages. After the Sections tab is the Questions tab where Outranking curates questions from keywords, SERP pages, and the Extended People Also Ask box. Next up is URL creation and optimization. Next is the most important part for ranking in Google, related keywords data. Outranking curates all the keywords associated with the focus query and shows volume and competitive density. Next is the Research tab that shows content from competing web pages, their domain and off-page SEO statistics. It also pulls in the live web page content to allow you to research within web pages without having to open any additional links. The last is a content depth validation called Topic Coverage. Here you will find the keywords that make up the user intent as well as clusters around those keywords. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.